As a small agency owner running Facebook ads for clients, one of the things that comes up with some of my clients is they want to see the results. They want to see reports of how the Facebook ad campaigns we're running for them are performing. And that's completely reasonable. They want to see how we're doing, if we're doing a good job or not, and how their campaigns are running. When it comes to creating these reports, it's sometimes easy, sometimes not easy. And it depends on your level of experience with Facebook Ads Manager and the processes you go through to export that data or to create other reports. I wanna show you a quick and easy tool that will help you automate the process of creating these reports. You can set up simple reports within Facebook that'll allow you to customize exactly what data you wanna see and from there, you can produce one or multiple reports. You can even automate these reports. You can export them for your clients in different ways, or you can just use that to your own advantage so it creates a simpler way for you to summarize the data that's going on. In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to produce these reports right within Facebook's ad manager system. So be sure to watch right to the end of this video. I don't want you to miss anything that we're gonna share. It's gonna help save you some time and make your life a little bit simpler. Hey, if you're new here, my name is Lowell Brown. I'm from Going Social. I run a small digital marketing agency. We focus on a lot of Facebook and Instagram ads. We do a little bit of LinkedIn ads. We do Google search ads, and we do regular social media marketing for our clients. Here on YouTube, I create different videos for you to help save you time, take the frustration out of your digital marketing efforts and make things a little bit more easy and simple for you. So be sure to like and subscribe, smash that bell below, and you won't miss any of my upcoming videos. All right, we're going to get started. We're going to jump into an on-screen demo. I'm going to show you how to create these customized reports. Let's get started right now. All right, so we're here in Facebook. This should look really familiar to you. This is Facebook's ads manager system. And as you can see, um, this is a campaign that I currently have active. This is a real estate development client. Uh, we've been running some different campaigns for them. And what I wanna do is just show you some reports that I uh, created so that when I wanted to give this client an update, I had a simple way to already have kind of some templates of recording uh, reporting data that I wanna present to them. And it, it helped me just speed up the process of creating and sharing the updates with my clients. Um, usually when I'm in Facebook Ads Manager, if I'm just checking in, I'm gonna show you what I usually look at. It always defaults to performance. What I like to do is go to performance and clicks. Now, keep in mind, this is a real estate client. So what we're really doing here is we're driving traffic to a landing page. That's the goal of, of these campaigns. We're driving traffic to a landing page. There's a registration form on that landing page. And the goal is simply to get leads. And that's what we've been going through. Up here in the corner, this is where you can see and change the dates on your account account for the filter that you want to see the data of. Now in this particular campaign, this is a new one that we've set up recently and uh, I've got three different style of campaigns and what I've actually done with these is I've broken them down between Facebook and Instagram just because we want to run them separately. We want to control the budget for each separately and be able to track things that way. So I've got three different campaigns. Some are video, some are uh, a static image ad, some are a carousel ad. And what I usually do is I look here um, just to see kind of results that we're getting, the reach, the frequency. I look at the clicks, um, you know, click through rate, that kind of thing. And then when it comes to video ads, I will look at the video engagement and I will look to see, as you can see, I, I mentioned only a couple have videos. Um, and, and then I'll look to see, you know, how are those videos doing? Are we getting views? How long are the typical views based on the length, uh, um, a duration of the actual video that we're sharing? So this one, I believe, is pretty short, about a minute long. Um, and then the other thing that we do sometimes is we also look at different engagement stats. Um, on these posts. So we'll see, you know, how are things going with these ads? And again, this is a relatively new campaign. So it's just getting started, just warming up, and it is still in the learning phase. So what I want to do is show you how we take this data that we've seen. Now, if I wanted to summarize this quickly for a client, now, sometimes I'll just talk the client through um, the reporting. Now, as I mentioned, different clients 
that I work with want to see data in a different way. Sometimes I will just speak to them over the phone and explain to them how the campaigns are going. I'll send them a summary and email and that's all they're interested in. I have other clients where I'll actually walk them through an on screen, like we'll do a zoom call and we'll show and share the screen together and I'll show them how the campaigns are doing. Um, and we'll talk through different results that way. I have other clients where I'll actually produce a report. And that's the point of this video is to show you kind of the easier way to collect all that data, export it and create the results. So I just wanted to quickly take a break and explain that sometimes I'm actually just going in that view I previously showed you and that's perfectly fine. There are other times where I need to create a more um, robust or, or, or simplified um, uh, report and let's go back into screen sharing mode now and i'll show you exactly how to do that where to find it and how to customize that report let's get into it right now okay so we're back here in facebook manager you may see this little menu and you've got ads reporting ads reporting is what we want to see this is where we want to go if however you don't see it in this list in the menu here click on all tools and you gotta scroll down, you'll see the advertise section, it's right below that, analyze and reporting, you'll see ads reporting. So mine may be here because I visited it a few times, I've seen other accounts where it's not on the side here, and that's why I'm just showing you the different views. So let's click in there, and what you're gonna see, it's gonna open up to a new screen, a new interface, and this is all about the reports. Now, I've got some reports here that I've created and saved. I'm gonna walk you through how I created these again. We're gonna do it step by step together just so you can see the exact process that I went through. Now, the reason why sometimes you wanna um, save these reports is so that if I were to come in again and look at this report now, so we'll click on this one. Let's just look at the, no, let's look at this one, Facebook only. So again, I had my ads, um, that were split between Facebook and Instagram. So I've been able to, and when I do the reporting for my client, I break that out specifically. They're interested in which platform is doing, you know, how is one doing and compared to another. So when, I, when we're in here, I am able to use this report the next time that I create a report for a client, if I wanna change the dates, the, the, the template for this report is already set up. All I'd have to do is go in, change the dates, and the data adjusts. It's all of this same information. It's just now been adjusted basically so that I can see that new information of what's happening in that time period. As I mentioned, these are some new, some of the new campaigns and some of the older ones. So if I were to look at, let's say, just the last week, you'll see now it's showing fewer actual ads running because things had changed over that period of time. So let's go back to the start here. Uh, don't save. And we're going to create a new report. So you just click create a new report in the top there. And then you can decide what style of report do you want to see. Now, this is cut and group data and more meaningful insights. And that's what we're going to do here. You've got um, where you can see a trend line. So if you wanna to just to, to visually show them the metrics in different ways, you can do that. The first thing you wanna do is, is name your report. So let's just name this demo report. And now whenever we go to save it, that has a name and we'll know what it is, okay? What's showing right now is all of the data that we have run forever for this account. Um, it, it is, you know, anything that's been delivered is here and then everything is ungrouped. What I want you to look at is the right side here. So this is where you can choose what information you want to show in your report. If we didn't want to show the ad set name, I'm just going to show you what happens. If we take that column away, now you see less information, right? So if we added back the ad set name, we took away the campaign name. Now we're just gonna see all of the ad set names, but not the campaign that came with it. So anytime that you, um, you know, if you adjust this stuff, it's adjusting it on the report for you. And if I just, let's say, instead of seeing the ad set name, if I was more interested in just showing details across the different ads, 
again, this is how you can create those specialized reports. Now I know the um, where these ads were targeting were more for a higher demographic. So if the client was worried, hey, you know what, I wanna make sure this is a real estate ad which we can't target because um, I'm, in, I'm in Canada and here in Canada we have certain restrictions on our ads which other areas of the world may or may not. And um, the actual ads that we're targeting and we have to leave it open. There's um, those special ad categories on Facebook. So I can't actually create an ad campaign and say, I only wanna target people 40 and up. It has to be open. So we're relying on the actual um, Facebook algorithm to hit the right audience. And if my client was worried about, you know, are these ads showing to the right people, the right ad demographic? Well, I could produce a report like this and show them that the majority of the people that are seeing this ad are above the age of 55. They're actually above, yeah, above 55, which is great. Um, and, and then we could do the same across all the different ad campaigns that we're doing. So that's just to show you the different things that you can do with these reports. Now the metric side of things is right here. You just click on this side and then we can adjust what we've got here. Now, if I wanted to, I could take stuff away by clicking this little down arrow here. So you can sort it by newest to oldest. You can resize the column. So if let's say the column was too small, right? And we wanted to make sure that it was fitting. You could say resize to fit and it would automatically extend that column. If we wanted to take this away, because on this report, I don't really need to see that. You just click delete. So you can either do it that way, clicking delete, or you could actually go in here and adjust things. So if we wanted to, let's see, results is the same as, um, I don't need to see the, so there's certain things we can take away right away, like attribution setting. I don't need to see that on the report. We know what that is. Cost per result is good. So I can go in and I can customize these things. If I wanted to see, there's cost per result. Now you can also type in the search box up here if you wanna find something. And sometimes it works. There we go, click through rate. So this helps you find um, if you're looking for stuff and you can't find it because there's so many different options, um, then you can, you know, click on, on uh, use the search tool up here, which will help you find some of that information as well, because there are literally a ton, a ton of categories that you can go through. So whatever the specific data you want to see is, um, delivery, we don't really need that. So I can turn that one off. I'm just going to create a couple um, campaigns here that I would typically look at in terms of seeing how things are going. Oops. So let's just do that again, taking that out. The other thing you can do is if you want to move a column over, you can just click and drag and it should move. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So you got to look for that kind of, you'll see that little break there. And it, it sometimes works and sometimes it's a little bit finicky, but usually if you drag, you can adjust uh, where these columns go and it right now is being a little bit finicky with me so we're not going to look at that uh, link clicks should actually be the same as results so let's see i can't move it over and also i am using um safari browser so chrome is usually better for most things see results and link clicks are the same so we don't actually need them um, Chrome is usually better when it comes to Facebook, Safari, I'm on a Mac, um, Safari, sometimes it just is a little bit finicky with working with Facebook. Um, so right away, like if I'm looking at, at a report like this, again, I'm looking at this date and the other thing I wanted to do. So as I mentioned, you can add these different filters here. So right now my campaign, I want to. I want to show just the Facebook ads 
um, campaigns that were running, not the Instagram ones. So when I labeled my campaign names or my ad set names, I put in whether it had FB or Insta for Instagram. And that allows me to, to easily do a little um, filter. Now you can see I can filter it by campaign name, by ad set name or by ad. So I'm just gonna do by ad set name. And again, you can see all of these filters are along the top. And now all I'm showing is my Facebook ad campaigns, which is really what I wanted. And when I wanna do a report for the period of, let's just say it's gonna be this week here, for this past week, I can now see that I had, you know, two different campaigns that have been running. Um, I actually wanna see the ad set name, the ad campaign, that's fine. And now I can go in and I can see, okay, there was a, a video carousel picture ad, and this one was another set that was done from before that. Um, and they were, again, it was, if I click in, let's just look at from, yeah, it was about there. You should see that. So this was the newest campaign. So there we can see this was the newest campaign. I did produce a campaign, I think it was the 24th for this client. So now I can see that my campaign was running what the reach was, the impressions, the frequency of these ads, um, the results. Again, how many clicks, so how many total clicks we've driven to that page, how much we've spent, the average cost per click, a click-through rate, and we can see some of those metrics of how, how is this ad, um, how has this ad campaign been performing? And there's other things, you know, if I wanted to find, I could, I could find those. So again, this is just one example of how you can create those reports, add the filters in, and then customize the data that you want. Now, what happens after this? So if I wanted to, all I have to do is click save and then that report would be saved. And I'll show you if I click your save, we're going to go back in a second. You're going to see that that's in all my reports. Now, when it comes to reports, as I mentioned, usually I've got three different options. Um, I have some clients where they just want to ask me, how are things doing? And I can use these save reports to quickly jump in. I can either do it in ads manager or I could just quickly go to these reports that I've already created, get a quick summary, talk to them over the phone or shoot them a quick email. And I've got that data. If you have clients where you're manually creating a report, which I actually did with this client where I, I used a, a Google doc and I just summarized some basic high points of, of what we're doing, why we created certain campaigns the way we did, what the creative is of those campaigns. Um, if we, you know, sometimes I'll change the campaigns if one isn't performing well or something else has to be done, we'll do that. And also because I'm bringing in um, data across different things. So we're doing Google search ads as well. We've got different stats on our landing page. So I'm using a Google document and I'm customizing and summarizing that stuff. But creating these reports allows me to quickly summarize the data that I want to get, pop it into that document, save it, send it to the client. What you can also do is you can export this data if you wanted to um, to a CSV, to an image file, that kind of thing. Let's jump back into screen demo mode. I'm gonna show you how to do that. It's really simple. We'll get into that right now. So again, I mentioned we can export this data and there's a couple things we can do. We can click under share and I can copy this link and share it to a client. Now, the other thing you can do is typically if you do share a link, what you will require is that your client or the um, person that you're you're sharing it with that wants to see this will need to have a Facebook account. So if they don't, then what you can do is share with others. Um, and and what, are, what it says right here is outside sharing is turned off. Turn on outside sharing most uh, version of this report to others outside of your business. So again, with this link, they need to have access to business manager, to ads manager to see this. If you turn this off, you can share it with people that aren't already linked with your business. So again, if your client for whatever reason, I mean, I always, 
I always make it a point of making sure that my client is in total control of every asset that we build for them. So mo majority of my clients, they have access to this, whether they know how to use it or not, I still want them in control. I don't wanna hold all their data um, and, and their accounts. So that's one way of sharing with them. The other thing you can do is export. If you click on this export tab, you can choose which um, what you want the export name to be. You can customize that. And then you have some options here. You can save it for Excel. So as an XLS type document, you can um, save it as a CSV, which you can import to any sort of spreadsheet document, or you can save it as an image, a PNG file. Um, and then of course you can include the summary row and the summary report is, is the top column there where it explains what each column is and that's really all it is so those are the options um, again i'm just going to quickly show you right here if i go to my reports now that demo report we just created it's right up there if i wanted to show my client or look at the report i did for Again, we're looking at the same. So this is the same previous period that I created for the client, which was April 24th. It always will default to whatever you you had um, when you created the report, whatever the date was, was there. So if I wanted to update this to my new campaign, which was from the 25th to now, you'll see that it changed, you know, this stuff. Now I could either save it as a new report I could save as and create a new report or I could I could just update that. Let's go back. I'm just going to quickly show you this previous report. And this was a purpose of me basically showing them we've got this video ad that they've been using. They only have one video ad. So my worry with them is running this ad repeatedly. I'm worried about it getting stale over time. Um, eventually people are gonna see the video ad enough times if they see it again and again, it's gonna become stale. So we've already customized so that a different audience will start seeing this ad. But um, just along the previous of how things were going, I can get this report and see how the results were doing for this specific video ad, um, in including what we had spent to date. Another report that I did which was the overall engagement one. So I can show them based on, you know, the different ads that we had running, and then I can show them, you know, what was the engagement like on these ads? What were the post reactions, the saves, comments, link clicks from the different ads, that kind of thing. So I kind of have a, a breakdown of three different reports, both Facebook and Instagram. I'll show you the Instagram, one of the Instagram ones quickly. Um, we'll do, Let's just do engagement. Um, and again, I had, you know, I can, I can say that, you know, I can see whether or not the picture, the video or the carousel ads that we created, which ones are doing the best out of those. So that's it. It was a quick summary showing you how you can create some customized reports so that you can easily see the data that's important to you in terms of the metrics and the performance of your ad campaigns, whether or not you just want to take a quick summary to see how things are doing, or whether you need to export data or share the results with your client, this is a really easy way you can create some customized reports within Facebook's um, system and see how the results of your campaigns are doing. I'd love to hear your feedback. If you found this informative, if you found this helpful, if this is a tool that you plan to use, shoot me with a yes. Comment yes below in the comments, let me know. I'd love to hear your feedback if you found this tool interesting, if it's something that you plan to use, or do you just stick with the regular ads manager and look at your results there. Be sure again to like and subscribe below so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. And as a special bonus, if you need help with your Facebook ads, if you need help with creating and managing your campaigns, if uh, you're just looking for some advice, if you want to get in and you're, you want to run them by yourself, you want to run them on your own, but you're just looking for a second set of eyes, you're looking for some help to identify if you're doing things right, I would love for you to click the link below. I've got a customized um, a link where you can set up an appointment with me in Calendly. Um, this is a consulting service that I provide. So click the link below, 
um, you'll get to my consulting page where you can book an appointment with me to get some help with your Facebook ads. Once again, my name is Lowell Brown from Going Social, where we take the complicated out of social media marketing and digital marketing, make things a little bit easier and simple for you. I'll see you guys in the next video.